So you go from Palo Alto, which is sprinkler monitoring, yeah. to, man, I'm doing the job I should be doing. Yeah. Same question I had for you at Palo Alto. Do you, are, are you ever worried for your safety? No. Yeah. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. This dumbass would drive right into it. You know, I'm just like, and, and I don't, you know, Hayward, you, I just felt like the crooks, the, the bad guys, you know, they, they knew their job, you know, they knew their J-O-B. And when you got into the mix, yeah, you know, you, you needed to do what you needed to do. But, and, and when I first got there, like I said, you know, your cover was not far away, but it, it, it was, it, it went well. It was good. It's not South Central where you need to be too deep. And quite honestly, we used to joke about South Central too deep. That means two of you are dead now, you know, <laughs> one deep at least, you know, Yeah. but it was, um, it's sure it's Oakland. It's part of Oakland. Um, but I don't think it was hundred percent necessary all day long to have two man cars. And I think it also depended on where you were now crime can happen anywhere. Shootings can happen anywhere. Carjackings did happen everywhere. But if you're going deep into known gang territory, yeah, you go in two cars or two man cars. But if you're not and you're just, you know, if you're patrol and you're going from call to call to call, you wait for your cover, you know where they're at. We had computers by then, so you knew, even though they never worked, you know, and it was incumbent upon your beat partner to get there, like get there. And they did. Mm -hmm.